is Baladila Mines. Location is Dantewara in Chhattisgarh, right in the heart of the left-wing extremist areas. In this episode of National Security, we take a closer look into the exploits of Central Industrial Security Force and see firsthand how this specialized force is combating terrorists, naturalites and other anti-nationals while safeguarding economic interests and other assets of our country. These days, India is directly under attack almost 24-7 by terrorists hired by our sworn enemies or brainwashed by anti-nationals who do not recognize constitution of India. And given the fact that buoyant economy is speeding up by each passing day, attacks to destabilize India is also rising. On target are economic installations, both government control as well as the private ones. Not only the visible structures that are on the hit list of terrorists or extremists, but the core areas of our economic activity in particular, rich mines of raw materials and refineries, all are under constant threat, including the new kind of terrorist, the brutal kind known as the left-wing extremist, and the areas where they operate are classified as LWE areas. Unusual though it may seem, the so-called areas of influence of left-wing extremist groups could only be spotted in and around rich coal and iron ore mines, in some cases super-rich bauxite mines, which is raw material for making aluminium. And this brings in the Central Industrial Security Force, the CISF into the picture the world's only exclusive combat army created specially to safeguard economic assets of our country. To do an on-the-spot assessment of CISF's capabilities, Rajya Sabha Television took stock of the situation by seeing firsthand how this exclusive paramilitary force is all buckled up to face Maoist and anti-nationals, head on. Singh was believing, recently the CISF Jawans have mastered a technique that has put them in an elite league how to strip and stitch a hot weapon in combat situation and at times doing the task even blindfolded women commandos seems to have gained an upper hand have a look at this one a perfect answer to the naxalites What came next was in superlatives. CISF appears to have outsmart even the National Security Guards in this hair-raising parkour technique, an act of the daredevils. Where only obstacle is just no obstacle. These CISF special teams are trained to chase their adversary in any kind of situation or terrain. This is parkour and they are commandos in making of a brand new deadly force.
The new battleground of CISF is right at the epicenter of Naxalite movement. The spots are known as Bacheli and Kirandul, deep inside Baladila mines of Dantewala and Chhattisgarh. Spell their names. These mine areas throw up images of bloodbath and sudden death in Baladila. No street corner is left without any traces of violence, fresh or old ones. Destruction and sudden death can take place almost anywhere and everywhere. We thought we were in safe zone, but not so. Our deadly reality show was just at our doorstep. This week took five lives. Trucks burnt recently. And in the adjoining compound managed by a private industry, a recent argument with a Naxalite leader result 17 big truck loaders burnt beyond recognition. In this area, the pressure has always been there. Over a period of time, because of these attacks from the Naxalites, we have also learned several lessons. Everyone knows, the world knows it, that number one quality of iron ore is found in India. But there is a problem in its mining areas. Recently, Chhattisgarh government had denotified large pockets in dense forest for a new iron ore mines. The problem is that these newly denotified areas are largely inside the dark territory of Abushman. In local Chhattisgarh dialect, Abushman literally means land about which not much is known. Only native tribals who live there know the ins and outs of Abushman. Naxalites hibernate here and they sit right on the heads of mine pits in Baladila mines. The primary task of CISF is clearly cut out. Naxalites or no Naxalites, mining cannot be stopped at any cost. Explicit orders from the North Block are clear and defined. Guard this area fiercely. In LW area, the threat can be anywhere. You have seen these places. The assets are deployed in many places, wherever the mine casting is, mining is taking place. So these assets have to be protected. Almost 50% of black economy of Maoist is allegedly sourced from just these two mines in Bacheli and Kirandul. In all this destruction and violence that is taking place in Basto region, there is, however, one silver lining which refuses to fade away. The local brass and metal art made out from the extracts of raw material from Baladila mines. The Bokra art. This डोकरा मूर्ति आर्ट कथन और यही ला हम सब स्थानीय लोग मन इला परंपरा ला जीवित रखे के कारण रखे हैं। We take a short break and when we come back, we see for the first time ever on Indian television the Indian version of Ninja Warriors that CISF had created. Welcome back from the break. Following footage was recorded at CISF's Academy at Nisa near Hyderabad. For the first time ever on Indian television and only on RSTV, the Indian version of Ninja Warriors, CISF has created a new breed of commander force.
We were told that parkour was just a pastime of the brave. But the CISF has gone way ahead and created a totally new version of parkour, a deadly militarized parkour. In the process, the CISF knowingly or unknowingly created an Indian version of the so-called ninja warriors. The ones which, as we know them, from the storybooks of the Far East. Simply great, Singh was believing. So secretive is their existence that visiting Rajya Sabha television crew was shown only small glimpse and that too a declassified version. Sports is a very very versatile force. I have been heading it for last one year. Before this I was here for five years also. I have worked as DIG also. This is a very versatile force. This is what I have seen. Give them any challenge, give them any idea, give them any new task. I mean, they take it just like a fish to the water. Like this parkour training, which you are talking ninja warriors. It's only on 16th of October that I told my IG training sector, please search for this parkour training, whatever material you can get. Please search for it and then see whether we can train our people. That's it. The new catch line in CISF is to safeguard and come to rescue with a lightning speed. Unorthodox. Simply lethal. Parkour skills with combat weapons. Only the toughest of the CISF commandos are selected for this elite unit of ninja warriors. This new weapon that Central Industrial Security Force has created in form of Ninja Warriors will very very effectively keep Nets Lights or Maoist at bay, especially at two places, at Pipawar in Jharkhand and Damanjodi in Odisha. Fierce gun battle had taken place between the CISF and the outlawed Maoist at both these spots. Naturalites know for sure that this particular mine pit feeds coal to the NTPC power stations in the north which supply electricity to the capital Delhi and they target this place. This is the famous Ashoka post of the CISF inside the central coal fields of Piperwar. In the month of March 2012 about 200 Naxalites had attacked this post from all sides with the aim to loot a rich armory. Throughout the night of the 4th of March 2012, intermittent firing continued from the Naxalites' positions. But the hardy Jawans of the CISF did not concede it even one square inch of their post. से डिप्लॉयमेंट लगती है जो कि वेब्रिज और चेक पोस्ट की निगरानी होती है रात के समय ज़्यादा सेंसिटिव हो जाता है बिकॉज रात के समय इस साइड पे पीछे गांव है और इस तरह से आप देख सकते हैं तो पूरा जंगल एरिया है इसके जस्ट पीछे पिट ऑफिस है तो ये एरिया पे रात के समय ज़्यादा अलर्ट ड्यूटी होती है क्योंकि कुछ भी अगर घटना होती है तो इसकी सूचना यहाँ पर मिलती है और हम लोग उस हिसाब से सेटअप करते हैं मॉकड्रिल की प्रैक्टिस होती है कि न्यूट्रलाइज कैसे किया जाए एक कंटिन्यूसी को एक अटैक को उस हिसाब से डिप्लॉयमेंट होती है लोगों की विद आर्म्स के साथ But Naxalites refused to budge. Last month, local mining contractors stopped work in this particular patch after Maoist fired few shots into the air, threatening employees. Local commandant of the CISF immediately took control of the area and made sure no stoppage of work shall take place. We are also patrolling in the area, armed patrolling and other enforcement which is helping us to completely sanitize this area 
from any infiltration right from the Maoist or from uh, any other mafia or local goons or uh, any anti-social elements. Compared to other central armed police forces, these days CISF is attracting the best talent available in the market. From coal fields of Piperbar in Jharkhand to bauxite mines of Damanjodi in Odisha, LWE extremist appears to be everywhere, wherever mines and minerals are. Bauxite mines of Damanjodi in Odisha are a place of pilgrimage for the brave hearts. Every year, bravest of the brave, 10 CISF martyrs are remembered who laid their lives on 12th of April in the year 2009. 400 heavily armed Naxalites had attacked this outpost. The battle scene was similar to some chapter which appeared to have been lived out straight from the wars of the yesteryears that Indian soldiers had fought during the 1971 or 1965 war. Naxalites had planned to loot this well-stocked armory, but CISF quarter guard refused to budge. Bravery of CISF at Damanjodi had made this paramilitary more determined than ever to face any kind of threat. These conveyor belts are closely guarded round the clock. We were told that Naxalites are holed up not far from these locations. After a recent attack of Boto militants in Assam, threat perception to this oil refinery at Bongaigao has increased to a new level. Located right at the strategic location adjoining Bhutan border and in close vicinity of Bodo militant hideouts, CISF commanders can also be spotted here, guarding yet another difficult turf. There is more than 36 terrorist organizations. You know, it is that is IOC El Bongaigao, it is situated in Sirang district. There are mainly three terrorist organizations active. One is NDAB, National Democratic Front of Berlin. One is Malta, Muslim United Liberation Tiger of Assam. Then KLO, Kamatapur Liberation Organization. Recently, CISF has achieved what many perceived could not be done in a short span of time perfected a spectacular silent drill. Worldwide, only US Marine Corps are reported to have mastered the art of silent drill. Going by our Indian version, these CISF commandos appear to have outsmarted the US Marines. Fifty-four units. They have given the demonstrations, which has been highly appreciated. And these are professional demonstrations, mm -hmm. and this has been appreciated by all the people concerned, including the management.
एब्सोल्यूट विजुअल पोएट्री This was a special episode of the National Security focused on the degree of difficulties faced by the CISF while guarding important national installations in the LW areas the left wing extremist areas with my cameraman colleagues Dushmanta and MS Suresh this is Vineet Dikshit for the special series on national security